Okay, and of course, kids being kids, they, they wanted ice cream. And um, my aunt went to buy ice cream, and you know what he said? He doesn't sell ice cream to Indians. Seorang wanita India berkongsi pengalaman pahit dia dan keluarganya ketika berkelah di pantai remis Kuala Selangor baru-baru ini. Merusi rakaman video yang dikongsikan di akaun TikToknya, dia mendakwa seorang peniaga ais krim di situ enggan menjual kepada anak saudaranya kerana trauma pernah diserang individu mabuk. Terkejut dengan kata-kata itu, mereka meminta penjelasan dan peniaga terbabit memberitahu dia pernah diserang sekumpulan orang India yang mabuk. Dia juga mempamerkan laporan polis mengenai dakwaannya dan diletakkan pada motosikalnya untuk menyatakan pendiriannya itu. Menurut wanita berkenaan, keluarganya meminta peniaga itu untuk memahami bahawa mereka tidak sama dengan kumpulan mabuk tersebut. Namun, seorang lelaki dari keluarga Melayu bersimpati dengan situasi yang dihadapi oleh keluarganya dan menawarkan untuk membelikan ais krim buat anak saudaranya. Dalam rakaman video itu, dia turut berterima kasih kepada keluarga Melayu itu dan menceritakan pengalaman tersebut kerana kecewa dan berharap ramai mengambil itibar agar tidak bersikap perkauman. Bagaimanapun menerusi hantaran yang berasingan, dia memaklukan isu terbabit sudah selesai selepas peniaga ais krim tersebut membuat permohonan maaf. So, hi guys. Um... I came with my family to the beach at uh, Pantai Remis. Yeah, it's in Kuala Selangor. And <clears throat> let me show you my family and what who who all of us are. There's a reason to that. So as you can see, it's my family, and we have a few small children there, like in the age of three, four. Yeah, those are the small kids. And there's this ice cream man here, okay? And of course, kids being kids, they, they wanted ice cream. And um, my aunt went to buy ice cream. And you know what he said? He doesn't sell ice cream to Indians. And we were shocked, of course, and we asked him why. And apparently, he has stuck a police report on his ice cream stand. I'll attach that police report in a while. And it says that he had an altercation or a fight with a few in drunk Indians who came to his shop. And that's the reason why he doesn't sell ice creams to Indians. Yep, so this is the police report that he stuck on his um, ice cream van. And yeah, this is his excuse for not selling uh, ice creams to Indians. And uh, he's Malaysian as well. Like, I understand that you are traumatized or whatsoever, but these are kids. Are they going to like get drunk and beat you up? They're just kids wanting ice cream. What's, what's that got to do with a few Indians who got drunk and, you know, messed with you? So he refused to sell us ice cream until the end, guys. Like, we did not get ice cream for the kids. And uh, there was this Malay family um, sitting just across. Yeah, I can show you, but I, yeah, they are sitting there. And he, I think he felt sorry for us and he came and bought the ice cream and gave it to my nieces and nephews. Yeah, and that was so, so nice of him. So big shout out to them. It's just very sad to know that there are still people like this. I mean, I understand that due to some other Indian people who are very irresponsible, but we are paying the price for it. So bottom line is what I'm saying there is this ice cream stall in this um, yeah in this pantai remes that doesn't sell ice creams to indians yeah so doesn't make sense but yeah just letting you guys know Hi guys so i'm sure most of you have watched the video of me ranting about how the ice cream man did not sell my family ice creams in Kuala Selangor because we are indians and uh, thank you so much uh, for this comment. And yes, I do acknowledge that most Malaysians are not like this. But it's sad that we do still do have Malaysians that have this mentality. And um, I have a very, very good update, a positive update. Um, the ice cream man, the ice cream Anne, actually apologized in a video. And he personally addressed me and said he's sorry. And I fully accept that apology. So thank you very much, Anne, for apologizing. And I am going to post the apology video um, for all of you to see. And I hope, um, you know, this will be a lesson to everybody, you know, out there who owns a business, 
please kindly a humble request put aside racism racist remarks stereotypes when you're conducting a business and that's for the best <laughs> So yeah, that was the video and um, as you can see, it was a very, very sincere uh, apology and you know, I am going to go and visit the Anne one of these days and I am going to go and buy ice cream from him because this is one of uh, the proudest achievements that I can, you know, call an achievement. And also I want to thank um, the MIC members who took the initiative to go and get the salt and um, to make sure this doesn't happen again. So thank you very much. Um, I really, really appreciate that y'all took the effort to actually solve this problem. So yeah, um, that's all from me. So thank you to everybody who commented positively. Um, let's all work together for a better Malaysia. And uh, last but not least, a word of advice to my fellow Indians from an Indian myself. Please, when you go out, uh, you know, be responsible, drink responsibly, uh, take care of the reputation we have. Let's all um, prevent this India marble um, slang and this thing that goes around. Let's all work together towards a better and more harmonious Malaysia. So yeah, signing off.